So that thermal paste, you can use that if you want, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, but I don't want to use that thermal paste. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that thermal paste. And uh, the way you want to remove the thermal paste is you can just use a simple paper towel and some rubber and alcohol. All right, paper towel, rubber and alcohol. It's going to come off just like that. Just keep cleaning it off. And you'll know, use the other side too if you have to. And, you know, try not to get thermal paste anywhere on the motherboard because thermal paste can be conductive and it could cause some issues. It, it's not likely that it's going to permanently damage your motherboard, but it can cause temporary shortages like on your USB ports and things like that. So it's always good to, you know. That looks pretty good. It's not terrible. And I like to put a couple of dots here and there, like. I'll carefully put a little dot there. The reason why I, I'm doing this is because if you just put one piece size dot directly in the center, you're not going to get full coverage. And that's basically what you want to do is you want to get full coverage. You don't want to have a portion of the processor to be covered and have the exterior of it not be covered. So on this processor, I think you want to be a little careful because it has openings on the side. You don't want thermal paste to go down in the openings. I can see that that would be very, very much of a pain in the ass to clean out. So you don't want to be doing that. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you got these guys on here. This, this is for um, your liquid cooler so you can mount this properly. We're going to mount it just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wiggle this around a little bit here like that. You guys can see that. I'm going to try to wiggle it around just a little bit here. And it's okay to lift this up and see what kind of spread you have. Now, that looks like it's too much, too little. So it doesn't look like there's enough thermal paste on here. There's a little bit on the um, the heat sink. So we're gonna add a little bit more here because there's not enough coverage. And I will tell you when there's enough coverage from experience. I put a little dab in the center, not, not a lot. I prefer to put little teeny dabs here and there. Put a little bit there, put a little bit there. Not, not a lot, you don't want to do a lot. You just want to take your time doing this. You don't want to do a whole bunch of it all at once. There's a little bit here and there, right? In the center, even that little amount that I put in the center looks potentially too much for me, but all right, let's try this out. All right, let's get this on here and just try to spread it around a little bit. And I don't want to make it mess either, so I'm gonna try to wipe my hand off here. I'm pretty confident that this is enough. Probably a little bit more than enough. You don't want to put too much, like I said. But you want to wiggle it around like that. It's, you don't want to apply pressure too much. Just wiggle it around. All right, now lift it up, and that looks pretty good. It honestly looks like a little bit too much, in my opinion. And there we go, we got coverage. Uh, to me, that looks okay. And if you can, turn it around the other direction also like this, if possible. If your cooler allows you to, and also spread it around in that direction as well, so you can get as much full coverage as possible. Lift it up, and that looks okay to me. All right, that's the best we're gonna get for this cooler. So we're gonna mount it here, and it's in there. It's, it feels pretty good. So 
We're gonna keep it like that. I think that's enough. I don't think you want to do any more than that. And it's a pretty good layer. It's a tad bit more than what I would prefer to use, but you know that's good enough. The most important thing is to have full coverage, but you don't want it going over the edge. If you have it going over the edge, then you're gonna have a problem. But if you only have a piece size in the center and it only spreads out only so far, you're gonna have problems on the edge of your processor where your thermal paste is gonna dry up faster because it's gonna heat from the outside in. These are multi-core processors. You don't wanna have that problem so just think about that for a second. Multi-core processors, they heat in multiple portions of the processor. So if there's coverage of the processor that's missing from the outside, it's going to heat inwards and you're going to have some potential issues. I feel confident that what we have here is okay. <laughs> 